Hello everyone, welcome to the book and notes. This video is for class 11th chemistry, chapter 2, the structure of atom. And in this video, I will provide you the notes of the chapter along with the explanation. So watch the video till last and like and subscribe our channel which motivates us. Now let's start. Structure of atom. Atom is the smallest indivisible particle of matter. Atom is made up of electron, proton and neutron. Now let us come to the properties of electron, proton and neutron. Electron was discovered by J.J. Thomson in 1869 and it has an amount of charge of minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and it has a mass of 9.11 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg. Now proton. Proton was discovered by Goldstein in 1886 and it has an amount of charge of plus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and it has a mass of 1.672614 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg. Now neutron. Neutron was discovered by Chadwick in 1932 and it has a neutral charge and it has a mass of 1.67492 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg. Now let us come to the achievement of Dalton atomic theory. Dalton's atomic theory was able to explain the law of conservation of mass, law of constant composition and law of multiple proportion very successfully. The drawbacks of Dalton's atomic theory. Dalton's atomic theory failed to explain the result of many experiment examples. It was known that when substances like glass or ebonite when rubbed with silk or fur gets electrically charged. Let us come to discovery of electrons. In 1830, Michael Faraday showed that if electricity is passed through a solution of electrolyte, chemical reaction occurred at the electrodes, which resulted in liberation or deposition at the electrodes. In mid-1850s, many scientists, mainly Faraday, began to study electrical discharge in partially evacuated tubes known as cathode ray discharge tube. A cathode ray tube is made up of glass containing two thin pieces of metal called electrodes sealed in it. The electrical discharge through gases could be observed only at very low pressure and high voltages. The pressure of different gases could be adjusted by the evacuation of the glass tubes. When sufficiently high voltage is applied across the electrodes, current starts flowing through a stream of particles moving in a tube from the cathode to the anode. These were called cathode ray or cathode ray particles. Now there is a question, how the flow of current from cathode to anode was checked? The flow of current from cathode to anode was further checked by making a hole in the anode and coating the tube behind anode with phosphorescent material, zinc sulfide. When these rays after passing through anode strikes the zinc sulfide coating, a bright spot is developed on the coating. Now let us come to the result of this experiment. The cathode ray starts from cathode and moves towards anode. These cathode rays are not visible but their behavior can be observed with the help of certain kind of material such as fluorescent or phosphorescent. In the absence of electrical or magnetic field, these rays travel in the straight line. In the presence of electrical or magnetic field, the behavior of cathode ray are similar to negatively charged particle. The characteristics of cathode ray do not depend upon the material of electrodes. The characteristics of cathode ray does not depend upon the nature of gas present in the cathode ray tube. And here is the diagram of the cathode ray tube and the another diagram is here. Now charge to mass ratio of electron. In 1897, British physicist J.J. Thomson measured the ratio of electrical charge to the mass of electron by using cathode ray tube and applying electrical and magnetic field perpendicular to each other as well as to the path of electrons. Now a question is there. What happens when only magnetic field is applied? When only magnetic field is applied, electron strikes the cathode ray tube at point C. Another question. What happens when only electric field is applied? When only electric field is applied, electrons deviate from their path and hit the cathode ray tube at points A. Another question, how can we bring the electron back to its path? It is possible to bring back the electron to the path by carefully balancing the electrical and magnetic field strength. And here is the diagram overall. Now let us come to a question. On what factor the amount of deviation of the particle from their path in the presence of electrical or magnetic field depends upon? 
and the solution is the amount of deviation of particle depends upon the magnitude of negative charge on the particle greater the magnitude of charge on the particle greater is the interaction with the electric or magnetic field and thus the greater is the deflection mass of the particle lighter the particle greater the deflection strength of electric and magnetic field EF means electric field and MF means magnetic field. The deflection of electron from its original path increases with the increase in the voltage across the electrode or the strength of the magnetic field. Now charge to mass ratio of electrons. Here E represents charge of electron and ME represents mass of electron. Therefore charge to mass ratio is equal to 1.75820 into 10 to the power 11 coulomb kg inverse. Now charge on electron. R.A. Millikan devised a method known as oil drop experiment to determine charge on electron and E represents the charge on electron and E is equals to minus 1.602176 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb or 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Now discovery of protons and neutrons. Electrical discharge carried out by modified CRT led to the discovery of canal rays carrying positively charged particles. Characteristics of positively charged particles Unlike cathode rays, mass of positively charged particles depend upon the nature of gas present in the cathode ray tubes. The charge to mass ratio of the particles depends upon the gas from which these originate. Some of the positively charged particles carry a multiple of the fundamental unit of charge. The behavior of these particles in the magnetic or electric field is opposite to the observed for electron or cathode rays. Now discovery of neutron. Neutron is electrically neutral particle which is one of the constituent of atom and it was discovered by Chadwick in 1932. When thin set of beryllium was bombarded with alpha particle then electrically neutral particles having mass slightly greater than of proton was emitted and it was neutron.